Hello guys, um, we'll be doing a um, Komodo vs Komodo comparison test as requested. Um, it is the premium version um, that will be tested against the new uh, 2022 Pro version. Um, so for uh, premium, so you guys will notice Intensicity Pro, Intensicity Premium. Okay, so the uh, Pro version is asking for activation, so I'm not sure if it will expire. Um, after 30 days but we know premium is a free version okay so you guys will notice that everything is I'm just gonna quickly go through it so updates for updates uh, it's the same uh, antivirus uh, it's the same firewall it's the same Okay, so under heaps everything's the same. Um, what I do need to point out is there are different rules for the Pro version compared to the Premium version. Um, I'm not sure why that is. Maybe Komodo um, did something different. Okay, so under protected objects, uh, these rules are all the same. Um, but it is under protected data that Komodo has these two additional rules that the um, Pro version has not. So I'm just pointing that out. Um, containment I think is pretty much the same. There might be something small different that I didn't pick up. But so far everything is the same. The rules are just not in the same order. Um, and the orders... Um, yeah, so that, that's basically the, also another difference is the rules, orders are not the same. But file ratings, we have the same. Uh, under virus scope, another difference is um, the recognizer file for Pro is newer than for the Premium. Um, I think the last update for Premium was last year, March. Pro, there was two updates since I've been testing it. So it seems Komodo is releasing updates for the Pro. I'm not sure if the Premium version uh, will be discontinued or something. And um, you'll notice that secure shopping is shows. Um, secure uh, shopping comes standard with premium. Um, with pro version, you have the option to download and install it. It does not come by default. So you need to download and install it. And I would say that's about it. Okay, so it's time to disable the real-time shield so that we can extract the malware and then we will continue the test. Okay, now that all malware has been extracted, I think it's time to just make sure that these products are up to date. And we are testing 2,430 samples on each side. I'll just run the update again for this one. Okay, so the protection is um, up to date. Okay, I'm just close all of this. Okay, um, it's going to be enable the protection. I'm going to leave heaps and containment disabled for now so that we can just run the script for the website. Okay, so let's start testing the websites. Okay, so we are getting a couple of blocks, as you guys can see. Um, okay, 
Okay, so far no website has opened or anything has downloaded by the looks. It is saying that none of these connections are secure. Let's see what happens to the provision. Okay, while we wait for that, let's go to the downloads folder. Okay, nothing downloaded. Um, you can obviously continue to the website, then the files will download it, and then there's a good chance that um, the AV will block that, but it doesn't seem like anything is downloading. Seems like this one is not responding. Yeah, just gonna wait for this one to respond and then we'll look at the results. Okay, so um, I just force closed it and rerun the script. So let's see what happens. Seems like it's a lot better now. Okay, so it is telling you that the site is not secured. Okay, so nothing downloaded. These are all downloads. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So I would say that's really good protection from Komodo side um, with their browser and the safe DNS. Um, nothing managed to open really or download. Obviously, you can continue like all the other vendors and then you do take that security risk, but I think it's, it's quite obvious for you as a user. Site's not secured. Okay, so I would say that's good results from Komodo. As you guys can see, Komodo is registered in the security center. Um, for this test, we're just going to leave uh, pips and containment disabled just so that we can run the scripts. Um, even sometimes when you do create exclusions for this, uh, Komodo is quite aggressive, even if you do have exclusions. So I think what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm just going to launch it because if I launch it, it's going to run in containment and then the malware won't be able to do anything. So I'm just trying to make it more difficult. For Komodo. So let's just pause that. Okay, so I've paused it now, so I think I'm just going to enable the protection. Um, otherwise, it's just going to run in containment. So let's make it difficult for Komodo. Other than both, let's just see. Okay, so no issues. Okay, so I think let's continue. Okay, cool. So these sites are also secured. Okay, so Komodo is doing its thing. I'm going to attend to this, guys. Um, uh, auto containment's already blocking malware, so nothing has run in containment as yet. So it seems like Komodo is aware of this, or heuristic, or behavior detection. I'll let you guys know if there's anything um, weird happening or worth noticing. But for now, um, I think I'm just going to let these two run, um, and then yeah, and then we'll look at the results. Okay guys, so it's time to look at the results. The malware has all been executed. So, um, mouse movement for in Komodo Internet Premium is a bit laggy. I've seen this before on the other machines. Um, so let's just quickly go through to see if anything is still running. Um, I did also clear out the um, containment folders for both of them already. Um, let's look at startup items. Okay, we have one startup item here. Uh, we'll see what that is later on. Okay, let's look at the security pro.
Yeah, nothing there. Okay, so same startup item. Uh, if you wonder why Trustport is here, because I'm using the same VM for Trustport. Um, Trustport is obviously the AV was uninstalled, but I left the other stuff here. So that same item is there. Okay, so I'm going to restart this machine so that we can update them and start full scans and then we'll look at the results again. Okay guys, so the full scans are completed. Um, I did close them um, before I started the recording. Uh, there were not much that Komodo was able to pick up. I think it was about 33 or 34 on both sides, so not that many. Um, so I'm just going to restart these machines. Um, so that we can start the third party opinion scans and then wrap up this test. Okay guys, so the um, third party tests are finally done. Um, so before we start, I just have to point out that uh, during the test, um, Komodo was a bit aggressive with the script and kept on blocking and tests got stopped. Um, so during the test, I had to disable heaps a couple of bit um, and things like that so um, we'll just take the results of a pinch of salt um, okay so let's quickly have a look see at okay heat pan probe um, heat pan probe looks funny here because the vm did resize okay okay so we have a dynamic uh, library file on this side exe exe um, these are from the browser maybe when we did the web test uh, then there's a file under the user profile and then obviously of Komodo we're gonna still <laughs> have a lot of malware um, in the malware test folders directly on the C drive there we have a it's a library uh, that's a ActiveX file um, and yeah okay cool so that's that let's look at this one uh, it should be fairly similar yeah so there's the one under the C uh, user profile Uh, okay, cool. Um, I think it's it should be very similar. Uh, let's close that. Um, let's look at Norton. I just still included Norton and MSI Soft for the fun of it. Okay, so we obviously have the files under temp. And then directly under the user profile, we have a library file, ActiveX file, ActiveX, that's about it. Okay, on this side, uh, looks like it's similar. Let's close that. Um, I did run Komodo's uh, cleanup um, essential just to see if the advanced scanner is picking up more things and it seems like it did on this side only five results Let's see on this side um, program data and then obviously the malware and the desktop but it does not seem like it detected the malware under the user profile Okay, yeah, also just under app data, there's a root key there. Let's exit that. Um. Oh, seems like I didn't do the scans of MSI soft. <laughs> so 
So I guess that's what I did. But that's fine. Um, okay, so let's look at Kaspersky. Uh, yeah, seems like it's the same file. Um, under temp, also library file. Okay. I'm just going to move this out of the way. Okay, guys, sorry, I'm back at my disk. Um, okay, so for F-Secure, um, we did not find anything. Let's just close this. Okay, now it's time for Malwarebytes. Okay, um, so we got a couple of uh, library files here. App data. Uh, also under temp, so that's all the normal locations malware will go. And they are extracted, uh, just shortcuts. And then obviously under the user profile, we have this um, ActiveX. Okay. Just gonna scroll down. Okay. Okay, and then we obviously have these files here. So we'll just close this. Okay, so let's just check what is still running. Okay, so let's look at our startup items. Okay, so we only have um, this one startup item. Um, as I've mentioned before, this is the old transport VM. Um, so we only have this um, item here. Okay, so that's in Intune tool. Uh, I did not see that the other vendors picked up this file, so it could be a legitimate program. So let's see what's running. Seem like there's anything. Okay, on this side it's the same. Okay, also not anything running there. I think this is a file that's been cleared out. I think the reboot will sort that out. Okay, let's look at our files quickly. Okay, so our downloads are clean. Documents on this side. Okay, documents are clean. Pictures. Okay, pictures are good. No damage there. Okay, so I think that's the end of this test, guys. So let's just quickly wrap it up. Um, cons for both of them. 
Um, during the test, it was a bit aggressive, uh, but obviously, um, I can't fault the product for that because it is it is um, why it's there just to protect the machine. But I did have to do hips, um, so that can also contribute why we why we do have some extra additional um, files on the machines. But um, yeah, that's how it is. So I had to disable um, hips a bit um, during the test a couple of times at random points for them for them both. Um, but yeah, I can't think of any more more negatives. Um, pros, I would say at least web protection was good. Um, there was no files that actually or websites that actually opened that could actually trick you or any any malicious payloads that actually downloaded. Um, it did notify that all the pages were not secure. Um, we do have a clean system. There's nothing actually running on it. There's no persistentness. Um, uh, yeah, I would say so. That's about it. So um, Komodo did actually did actually well. Um, oh, and then one of the other cons, obviously, is um, signatures. There's still quite a lot of malware um, still left in our folders. Um, but we all know that's not Komodo's strong point is detecting uh, via signatures. Um, so yeah, so that's that's another con. Obviously, Komodo needs to sharpen up maybe the signatures a bit. But yeah, I would say that's good results from Komodo. I can't really say there is a difference between the two products. Um, you guys saw the results are like 99% the same. And as I've mentioned before, I did disable heaps at different times for them. So it wasn't exactly at the same moment. So hence why maybe one malware could have dropped a little bit more files in temp than versus the other one. But I would say they're very close to similar. So I can't really say it's worth paying for the pro version i would just rather stick to the premium which is the free one you still have the same um, the only added benefit that you might have to pro with the pro is more uh, product updates maybe more improvements so if that's something that you want you can then opt out for the pro version but also i'll, I'll see if the pro version actually does expire if it does not expire then i would say yes go for the pro version but if the provision does expire after 30 days or so, I'll just maybe stick with the premium um, if you are on a tight budget and you want to use Komodo. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought. Um, um, yeah, there's actually not, not, not much to say anymore. Good results from them both. Um, and yeah, I'm not too worried about all the library files and shortcuts and all that. You, you still need the EXE to um, actually um, use the um, library files. So if there's no EXE, those library files can't really pretty much do anything on their own. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about the test. I'll work on the um, other um, requests uh, pretty soon. Um, and yeah, then I'll catch you guys in the next one.